Hello everyone, my name is Michael Bates and I'm here to walk you through uh, the introductory steps of you visiting our adapter for web services to connect to Dynamics AX2012. It's a general web service connector so you can use it to connect to many different types of uh, SOAP web services but the most common use case is to use it to connect to AX2012 and also very common is to use our Jumpstart which does walk you through a lot of steps to get the connection going but I'm going to assume in this little demo that you're doing a clean install and you want to figure out how to expose your first services in AX without using our Jumpstart. And the first thing you need to do is create an inbound port to uh, our, our, the web service adapter connects to inbound ports in Dynamics AX and is able to access the services that are in that inbound port. So I'm just going to create new. Just going to call it port A for simplicity. Give it a simple description. Needs to be an HTTP port. I'm just going to change that, and then you need to give it a URI to point to to um, to tell it where that inbound port is. This is going to exist on your IIS server, so you can see my basic IIS address to my default site. Followed by the next part of the name needs to be the name of the port I'm about to create, and then it ends with this uh, XPP service SVC. Now, in order for a port to work, I need to add service operations to it. I can't create an empty port. So I've sort of created the shell of my inbound port. I'm going to add just a couple of basic services here. Um, we're going to add customer service find right here. And contact person service create. All right, so we've got a couple of simple services added to our port. Now, once we've done that, the default settings are all fine and we're just gonna activate the port. Okay, so the port's been activated. I'm just going to close up my information window. And now, if I go back into Scribe, I'm going to create a new web service connection. Uh, open up my adapter for web services. So you can see I'm going to be adding a completely new connection here. We've got none yet. And you can see the first thing I need is I need to point it to the WSDL that defines the services in the inbound port and that is just going to be the address we just defined as the URI for the port. So we can just copy and paste that right out of AX. Put it into our scribe connection dialog. And we're going to want to validate it and then you do actually need to add this little prefix question mark WSDL to uh, to be able to discover the WSDL as we validate it and then you want to give it uh, a display name for within scribe and you just hit validate and let it go out pulls in the uh, information that's in the WSDL that's in, in the inbound port defining those services that we added to the uh, inbound port that you saw a few minutes ago Okay, so the validation is completed. It has pulled in the information from the WSDL on the inbound port that we've configured. I'm going to save that. It does actually pull in that information and store it in the Scribe internal database. Now once we validate it, we just have to actually make the connection. So I'm going to go into the connect dialog and there's a few options here. If I, if I just select none here, it's going to connect to AX as the user. I am uh, um, connected to Scribe as, that I'm using Scribe as. Um, you can also do a Windows authentication and just pick a different user or use some web services credentials, but I'm just going to use my own user and it's going to connect up. All right, connection's been made. 
then once we do that, we can go in, if I explore that connection in, say, my target configure window. Let's open that up. Under adapter objects, you can see now we have the create method that we added. You're also seeing um, parameters underneath those methods, so the contact person create and then the series of uh, complex type parameters underneath there, and then the customer service find, and the find just has one simple parameter for adding criteria elements. So, when you first install Scribe, get your web service adapter going, and you want to expose your first service in Dynamics AX, you go and create your inbound port, and then uh, come back and describe, load in the WSDL, validate it, connect, and your services are visible.